Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading June 27th to, uh, not June, May 27th to June 2nd, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can go straight away into the spread. And I got to change those cards, they are a rather kind of they they lost their glossy finish you know and now they're rather quite sticky if I may describe them that way but I can't find here in my country the same version you know uh, the radiant reader deck they simply are not shipped to my country so I probably have to find someone to buy them for me from England or I don't know right so uh, that being said uh, Pisces the first card which represents your uh, topic of the week that is going to be the sun card followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you are to face that is going to be the queen of wands afterwards we do have the positive aspect here uh, that will be the ten of pentacles and the last one is the guidance and that will be the emperor very similar to the Aquarius reading guys I don't know what's going on in the sky maybe the planets or the transits that are happening for Pisces and Aquarius are rather very very similar or they're very close I don't know how to describe it you know but it's a very similar reading Pisces and Aquarius anyway so uh, the Sun card once again it is the uh, topic followed by the Queen of Wands which is the challenge afterwards we do have the Ten of Pentacles which is the positive aspect and finally that will be the Emperor which is the guidance so from the overview it seems that you as with Aquarius I will uh, kind of like allow myself to compare both you are to have a certain competition you know and you are to have a certain jealous person which is around you that you need to overcome but unlike Aquarius where they had to basically detach from their from that noxious activity here we are talking about overpowering it and possibly replacing it as well right so it could be that you are to replace for example your supervisor or uh, you are to how can i place it um prove someone wrong uh, of their opinion for you and so on and so forth of course another way of interpreting those cards is that that it that could be a, a very close one that could be a hidden enemy all right it is a uh, if that's the case it is a hidden enemy who very well knows your weaknesses and uh, for one or another reason they're waiting you to make a wrong step i don't know why so be vigilant about those whom you trust so the first card however it is the topic and that will be the sun and the week itself is going to be amazing all right the week itself is going to be dappled with growth and with pleasant interactions in between you and the people you love the people that you care about the sun card offers you monetary success um life joyfulness if i may express it that way 
expanding energies of growth and as well natural unfoldment of one situation. The Sun card points that the majority of the people that you are associating yourself with are going to be happy to make you happy, all right? As you are going to be happy to make them happy as well. The accompanied card here, that will be the Tree of Wands and uh, the formation, it is a active uh, supporters. So uh, I will add upon the Sun card, it does look like as a, a gathering of a cluster, cluster of people who does share a similar idea, who does share as well similar experience and are having similar achievements as well. This is where you and those who are equal to you gather and solidify on your achievements and from there you decide how to proceed on forward with your life, contributing for one another, you know, for a the mutual happiness. And this is where the next one comes around, guys, the challenge. The Queen of Wands, this person, you and those people that you are to associate yourself with are to realize that this person has no place in this um, fellowship, if I might describe, describe it that way, from this company, in this company, excuse me. So I, it will be difficult. All right, because the Queen of Wands, it's very impulsive. Uh, the Queen of Wands, it's very, how can I describe it? Describe a very fiery and as well, very tenacious and very jealous as well. So how she can, uh, I'm saying she because it's a queen, you know, but it could be a man as well. So how uh, the usual way of the Queen of Wands acts in a bad way as the King of Swords with Aquarius, our tr twisting truths and it was using, you know, authority and, and, and connections to pull strings, the Queen of Wands prefers to, uh, how can I describe it, to make you look in, uh, incompetent and to make you look um, incapable to push on forward so she can replace you. So it, 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 she tries to present herself as the better choice, as the better leader, right? That is the point here. So that could be, for example, that um, <clears throat> your boards, uh, at your job, it is open, uh, a position for a promotion is opening, you know, and um, you are gathering up a cluster of people who are supporting you to get that position of opening. Now, the Queen of Wands isn't there. So uh, what she does is trying to sabotage your work to make you look incompetent. So she, if not getting the job or the, or the place, at least you doesn't get it. OK, so important thing here uh, throughout the week is not to get into confrontations now while in the um, previous reading with Aquarius, it was good to get into confrontations. Here, it is not good to get into confrontations. That is due to the way that the Queen of Wands uh, have a, a pretty good understanding in your nature. She knows how to push your buttons and you don't want that whatsoever. The accompanied card here, that is the Magician. And this is uh, rather uh, troublesome here. Because um, it's a very capable person. I, I don't want to hide it here. It's a very capable person who definitely knows how to accomplish things. And it's very tenacious, all right? With the magician, very tenacious and sweet talker also. Someone who is very, very convincing. So what you have as an arsenal is the support from others, all right? What this person has an, as an arsenal is everything else. So I hope uh, the support is going to be enough, all right? Those who vouch for you and those who believe in your capabilities. The only way how you can really screw your um, strive towards a, a successful week is to um, take the fight with the Queen of Wands. It's just to, to, to try, um, you know, overpowering her in a direct battle. You do have the following guys, you do have the support, you don't need to prove anything, uh, you just, you know, have to do not mind her, right? Just do not mind her, whatever she does. So uh, the uh, positive aspect here, that will be the Ten of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles points that you're going to be surrounded by warmth, you're going to be surrounded by people who truly trust you, who have a trust in you, who, who believe in you as well, and they are willing to help you. That 
thing that you will have those supporters is going to put you out of dependency. And this is where you should not um, reply to the taunt which the Queen of Wands directs to you. Because you do have enough. That is the confirmation here. You do have enough you know, to uh, achieve your goal and to allow your situations to unfold naturally, like I said, and to take advantage of the expanding growth that is given to you, either in regards to career or either in regards to relationship. The accompanied card here, that will be the 10, uh, the uh, major arcane of 10, yes, that will be the Wheel of Fortune. Formation, it is a passive neutrals. So uh, while the Wheel of Fortune adds a... Um, other opportunities for you to make a change in your life. Uh, the advisable, uh, the advice here from these cards is first, you know, to secure your positions before you jeopardizing them in any way, uh, trying to make an addition to your current, um, you know, to your current um, life being, if I may express myself that way. So if uh, we're talking about promotion here, First, aim to secure the promotion with the help of others and with the vouching and the support of others. And then, you know, decide how you're going to work with it. Instead of, <clears throat> for example, the promotion is around you and you are um, jumping into risky endeavors, just um, giving more and more opportunities to the Queen of Wands to sabotage your work, you know, and to present you incapable and unsuitable for the promotion that is just an example and lastly we do have the emperor which is the guidance so uh the emperor points that as a guidance you need to present yourself reliable and very consistent very important all right so whatever you do throughout the week you need to do it in a in a in a fashion of structure all right instead of being hectic and uh, and approaching it like it's some sort of a crisis so what i'm trying to say here guys is that whenever you do you always need to have a plan and even if you don't know what you're doing it needs to look like you know what you're doing if you feel what i mean here uh, now going only with the secure battle or rather with the secure actions the actions that you are more than more than um how can i display it? um more than confident that you can uh, opt with and that you can tackle with, uh, that will allow you to make the ups and downs of the week much more bearable, if any ups and downs, so that week is going to become very consistent with, and you are, with that consistency, you are to deprive the Queen of Wands of any chance whatsoever to sabotage your work. No, needless to say here that if you do so, I mean, if you become more consistent, uh, you know, and you move along with your plan instead of trying to be playful, if I may express it that way, you will also have a lot of time for yourself as well. The accompanied card here, that will be the, uh, the uh, King of Cups and uh, the formation it is a active uh, enemies that we do have. So um, uh, basically, um, how can I describe it? Uh, it's... Uh, well, you should not offer help, right? Um, this week, you need to be self-indulged. And uh, first, you need to secure your positions. And afterwards, you should offer help or contribute into others' deeds. Now, th this is the way I see it. Now, the others, those who are to support you, you know, will contribute for your deeds. And then, when you secure your positions your position you are to uh, indulge and help them as well the king of cups to the emperor it does represent um the professionalism right and as well the grounding of one's personality you may feel pity for someone especially for the qu for the queen of uh, wands because you're gonna see her very isolated all right and that may provoke pity in you and that will be your last mistake, right? You should not feel pity for her uh, by any means whatsoever. But instead, you know, you need to have that conscious decision of your behalf that, how can I describe it? That you are going to be reliable toward oneself and toward your personal responsibilities. Either those responsibilities are to be your family, you know, or career uh, development. So that that was uh, your weekly tarot reading Pisces for uh, May 27th to June 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.